Hello, my name is Corey Casto, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Young Adult Civic Committee Program proposal for Frederick Public Library in Frederick, Oklahoma. Our primary objective for the Young Adult Civic Committee, also known as YACC, is for young adults to receive first-hand knowledge of how city government works and the role that each member play in city government in addition to give an opportunity to young adults to work with city leaders to attend to issues that young adults identify within their community. Our key message can best be summed up by a quote by Henrik Ibsen. A community is like a ship. Everyone ought to be prepared to take the helm. Oftentimes, government seems like this big thing that's out of touch and that nobody has any power, no citizen has any power for real change. We want to show young adults that they do have power for change, not only in their community, but throughout the world. We have two primary audiences for YACC. Those audiences are young adults and city officials. Too often, young adults are made to feel like second-class citizens and that their needs are not as important as the needs of the adults in their community. Likewise, the importance of some roles in city government are often ignored, and their contributions are overlooked. Additionally, in our current politically divisive society, it is paramount that young adults, who are our future leaders, are given the opportunity to gain first-hand knowledge of how government works and how it can be used to improve the lives of its citizens. There are a few reasons why the YACC matters. According to a study by the Center for Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement, young adults who have recently taken a civics or government class are more likely to help solve a community problem, feel they can make a difference in their community, volunteer, trust other people and the government, make consumer decisions for ethical or political reasons, believe in the importance of voting, and register to vote. And on this slide here, we see that the percentage of young adults who have taken a class are much higher involvement in these areas versus those who have not taken a class in civics or government. And if the results are this high by attending a class, imagine how high they would be from hands-on training. Furthermore, our goal is to encourage young adults to register to vote, to vote as they become adults, and to encourage citizenship. Part of citizenship is finding common ground with people who disagree with your personal philosophy on a range of topics. Furthermore, we want to consistently foster the idea that a community is created by many parts and each of those parts are needed, and therefore each of those parts need to be respected. The main takeaways that we want for our audience members are for young adults to feel that their voice and opinion do matter and for city officials to realize that they can make a difference not only in their community, but in the lives of young adults in their community as well. We expect the reactions of inspiration, increase in self-worth and pride, and increase in empathy among audience members. And we also expect that community development will occur to bridge gaps between demographics, whether it be ethnicity, age, or gender, and empowerment for all citizens of the community. For the YACC, we have a threefold measure of success. Our primary factor for measuring success will be participation. That includes how many young adults join and stay involved in the program, as well as how many civic leaders are involved and stay involved in the program and their level of mentorship. The secondary factor for measuring success will be tracking improvements made by the young adults. That will include observations that occur within their monthly meetings and what the committee reports to the city council every month at their meeting. And our final extended measurement of success will be if it assists in young adults in finding gainful employment or access to higher education. 
And that concludes my presentation, and I would like to thank you for taking time to listen today about the Young Adult Civic Committee program proposal for Frederick Public Library in Frederick, Oklahoma.